Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. It's Ijoma here and in today's video, we're going to be learning how to make this wrap skirt and a curl neck top. This is a two-piece. This is a two-piece. It is not a gown. So the top has a curl neck and it has an A-line sleeve. Then the skirt is a wrap skirt. For Yoruba people, it's like they call this style all a good style. Please, my Yoruba followers my subscribers should help me out is this the ole cool style now this is the fabric that i'll be using this is an ankara fabric but it is very soft the ankara fabric is really soft that's why i'm using it so if you want to buy a fabric you need to buy a soft fabric so that after cutting your cow neck your cow neck will fall very well then your wrap will also relax very well so buy let's say a doll face fabric a satin fabric a very light satin duchess crepe then if you want to buy an ankara the ankara you are buying should be very soft like the one i'm cutting now i'm done folding and i'll be cutting the back part of this top first of all after cutting out the back part i'll cut the front i'm doing freehand cutting for everything the first thing that i'm doing right now is to mark my shoulder and for my shoulder my shoulder is 15 divided by 2 that is 7.5 plus half an inch seam allowance that is 8 i'll go ahead and mark my 8 inches though if you want if you want you can make your shoulder to be one inch wider than your normal shoulder you know this outfit is a very free outfit it is not fitted but i marked my 8 inches there then after marking that for the armhole depth my normal armhole depth is eight inches but i marked nine because it is free then after marking the nine inches i'll go ahead and connect the armhole area using my armhole curve you can see what i'm marking there and this is for the back then for the back neckline the width is going to be three inches the wideness will be three inches on fold then i'll go ahead and mark my three inches after marking that three inches i will mark 1.5 for my neck depth the back neckline will be high after marking the 1.5 i will connect my round neck then after connecting this round neck i will mark one inch for my shoulder slant I want to make this a free hand because it is a wrap dress you can use your wrapper to like tie the cow neck the way you want like after wearing your top you can arrange your cow neck after tying your wrapper then the full length of the top that i'm making is 27 inches i want it to be long if you want yours to be to be 23 that is okay the full length is 25 plus 2 inches for for the hem allowance that is 27 and i marked 27 inches now for my bust measurement i will divide my bust by 4 plus 2 inches for ease 2 inches for ease because it is a free top then at the waistline i will divide by 4 plus 2 inches for ease then at the full length i will divide my hip by 4 plus 2 inches for ease or you can just make a free hand sketch at the hip area but whatever you get after dividing your body measurement you should add 2 inches to it for ease for some people while cutting this type of top they will just cut it like a normal up and down booboo you know the up and down booboo that you hear with wrapper so they will just make it very free but if you are cutting yours just follow this method divide your bust by four then add two inches seam allowance or ease allowance then you can take down that two inches to the full length then after doing all these i'll cut out my back then after cutting out my back i'll fold another fabric for the front and the front is going to be different from the back because it is a cold neckline it's a cow neckline sorry then i am done folding my front piece and if you are folding make sure that you have enough allowance it should be wider than the back folding now you place this piece on your back this is the front the, the back piece sorry you place the back piece on this fabric that you have folded right now after placing it you can see the way i tilted it just shift it a bit but make sure that the full length is touching the center the center of that fold then make sure you have like eight inches at that area where you slanted the back you can see the way i placed it then from the shoulder area just mark a straight line towards the center 
of this fabric you folded you can see that the back is touching the center the center back is touching the center front at the full length or at the hemline then the shoulder area just mark a straight line and then indicates where your shoulder you start from where your neckline will start from or your the wideness of your neckline so after doing this you can see the way i am cutting this out right after cutting the neck area you can see i cut it just straight up then you cut out your armhole the side and the full length the shape of the front is way different from the shape of the back and this if you open it up it will give you your cow shape then i'll go ahead and notch the width of the neckline so if i open this top up if i open the front up you can see what i have then i'll just pull it down to show you the shape it will have you can see that the anchor that i'm using is really soft that's why it is forming this cow neckline but if you're using a thick fabric you may not really get this cow neckline when sewing i'll still show you guys the trimming and everything that i did but this is the method that i use if i am cutting my freehand cow neckline i also have a normal pattern of a cow neckline the normal pattern and sewing the normal pattern of a cow neckline now the next thing that i'm going to cut out is the facing for that cow i want the, the neckline of the front to have a facing now fold your fabric then place the front piece on this fabric now the facing should stop at let's say three inches below your armhole line three inches below the armhole line you can see the way i shifted the the top before cutting out the full length of the facing then you cut the neckline of your facing and the armhole of your facing this will help your neckline to have a very neat finishing so that when the cow falls the wrong side of the fabric will not be showing after doing this i'll just cut off the rough part of my fabric so that i can cut out my wrapper so if you are cutting out your wrapper in order to get the perfect measurements for your wrapper you will multiply your hip measurements by two if your hip is 50 inches that means you will cut out 100 inches so that it will be very enough for that wrapper if you want you can make your hip times two then plus half of your hip measurement let's say your hip is 44 you will multiply it into two that is 88 right then you add extra 22 inches to it or if you are a very slim person let's say you are slim from size 6 to size 10 or size 12 you can just use two and a half yard just cut out two and a half yard and it will be very enough for you for me my hip measurement is 38 inches i folded my fabric into two and i measured 38 inches you can see that i am measuring my 38 inches and after marking my 38 inches i will go ahead and cut out if you don't want to do it this way if you want to be very sure multiply your hip time by two then add half of your hip measurement to it also if your hip is 40 multiply it by two that is 80 bar then you divide your 40 by two again you get 20 and now add extra 20 to the length of the wrapper and that will be very enough for your wrapper i am done cutting out my wrapper and i'll go ahead and hem the rough edges all the rough edges and that is all for the wrapper now this is for the sleeve i want my sleeve to be very long if you are cutting out this type of sleeve it should be very long what you are going to do is that if your sleeve measurement is 24 you are going to add extra four inches to your full sleeve so my full sleeve is 24 and i added extra four inches to it and that is 28 plus two inches for hemming so now i'll cut out my normal armhole then from there i'll go ahead and mark my 30 inches so you can see that my sleeve is really long then after marking that i'll go ahead and slant my a-line shape i don't have enough fabric i am managing if you're using an ankara you should buy six years and whatever that you have left it is okay then this is where we are going to stop for now i had light issues i couldn't finish my sewing but i'll definitely upload the sewing video it is not too difficult i'll upload it now i'll just cut out my 
sleeve and that is it please guys do not forget to click on the notification bell so that whenever i upload the sewing video you will be notified thank you all so much and do not forget to subscribe to my channel see you all in my next video bye